That's right. The day began with the jury visiting Breonna Taylor's apartment to gain an understanding of Brett Hankison's perspective on the night she was killed. And then back in the courtroom, prosecutors presented their final two witnesses. First up was Dale Massey, a former LMPD lieutenant who responded to the scene after the deadly raid in March 2020. Massey testified he could not see inside Taylor's apartment that night and was in, quote, complete and utter shock and disbelief when he found out police officers shot through covered windows and doors without a visible target. At one point, he described seeing Hankison making a gesture, tapping his chest and pointing to the bullet holes in the window and door and said it seemed like Hankison was saying those were the rounds he fired. Massey went on to say he observed nothing that night that justified shooting through covered areas. The jury then heard from the prosecution's final witness, an FBI special agent who discussed Hankison's firearms qualification and training. The prosecution then rested its case. The first defense witness called to the stand, Detective Mike Nobles, was one of the seven LMPD officers who served the search warrant at Taylor's apartment. Nobles testified that none of the officers used a flashlight to check inside the apartment. Previous testimony from Miles Cosgrove directly contradicts that statement. During cross-examination, the prosecutor brought up a previous interview with the FBI when Noble said that he was, quote, infuriated when he learned that Hankison fired shots, saying the shooting made them look like, quote, horrible cops and criminals. Now, the defense will continue presenting its case when the trial resumes tomorrow. The trial is expected to take about a month. I'm reporting outside the federal courthouse, Madeline Carter, WLKY News.